Ask somebody says, what is your personal things that you are going through? What are the things you are going through which are personal? And the person say what? Eh? One brother was telling me about uh, one lady who was preaching the word of God mightily today and says that woman was preaching and when she was preaching powerfully he said one day he was driving that woman <laughs> on the road you know the woman told her that they were going to preach and God was using this woman he said he was driving this woman and he said, on the road, he says, uh, can you check the chemist? Can you check the chemistry? Yeah? She says, ah. Oh. I was check the chemistry. He says, I've got a headache. He says, he was going to preach. And uh, he says, he turned, they search for, you know, for a chemist. And then they get a grandpa. She drink the grandpa. He says, oh, when the woman reached there, was praying with people, they were screaming, shouting, whatever. And then he says, ah, he begins to say, hey, what's going on here? This man, this woman, is very much anointed. Why does he heal her, her head? He says, ah, later. <laughs> In fact, I laugh a lot when I <laughs> He says, later, was like, you know, he entered the room and she, she was having many pills. And she was drinking them one by one, one by one, one by one. He says, one day he came and he found, ah, there are other pills again. He says, ah, how do you know that this mama is sick? But she was healing people. She was healing. He said, the name of Jesus, people are healed. But she was three, it was personal. You know, many pastors are going through personal challenges. And others, because of pride, they cannot go out and say, I need prayers. Because people will question them. So, drink peace aside. Drink peace aside. No matter how far are you, there's a level for you to go for. You must know that you need someone to pray for you. Yes. Even the pastor, I told them, I, told, I said, no, brother, this lady might have delayed. You know, she might not be having a faith to bring healing to her life, but she has delayed her own healing. But the healing is with someone. If she might have stood up she could overcome that personal temptation. Therefore, she has to hide for people so that they must not know. So you could see that everyone here, as long as you have your body, because this body is like a tree. It grows up and dry up. There'll be a time where you won't carry your legs. And that doesn't mean that you won't sometimes go to the chemist. Because you want healing, you want to be fine. You do. It's as good as you have to go for operation. But I told that brother, brother, you must know that uh, these doctors have been trained for that for our body. And uh, if you have a problem, you need to go to such kind of doctors. But you won't go to a witch. You know, we say witch. A witch one will witch you. So if you're a Christian, you must know where to go. I said, the problem is, we pastors, people take us as superhuman. And then from there, we are failing to tackle our personal temptations. I'm sure you hear what I'm trying to say. Eh? So if, if now you take yourself as what? Super what? Human. You will fail to tackle what? You are personal. But now, 
Look here. A pastor is the person who needs prayers of others all the time. I'm sure you're hearing that. You take him, I'm referring to pastors now. Pastors have many, many challenges. Sickness, attacks, whatever. The first day I pray for one person. First time in my life when I was praying for people in the church. Where I went to my shack, I was still staying in zone 10 here. And then I went to my shack there. Pray, pray, pray the night when I went to sleep. Something very big came and a finger, a finger like this, I'm telling you, and put a finger in my stomach. I had to So I was still looking at this head, it was a very, it was live. It was live. Like this, the finger was inside. To my surprise, I even told my wife about this. I was starting to pray with people. I'm sure it was 1999. In 1998, nah, somewhere in 1997, by then, yes. Started to pray with people. I didn't have a church by then. We were attending one church, so I was praying for people in that church. It entered, boom, and enters here. And uh, from there, I was looking at the hand, so I put my hand, I hold that hand, was a very cold hand. I tried to pull it like this, I didn't have power to remove it. I tried to look, I began to feel cold. And this cold was moving, was moving. I said, I've got no choice here. Because out of my hands, I can't do anything. I said, in the name of Jesus, the hands said, Poof! like that. And I asked myself, what if I say, Baba, go, go. <laughs> I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. This was my personal temptation. My wife was asleep. I was alone. There will be a time when you are alone. It is a personal. And then that's why some people die when they are asleep. When you wake up, you find the person is dead. Can't you? Because it was a personal. So this is the time that you people, you seek God with all your heart. Before that, maybe we can bring people who want to accept Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. Run forward. If you want to do that, run forward. You want to accept. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. Maybe, if you, maybe I can. Thieves, liars, fornicators, adulterers. I mean, what are you facing? Whatever you are doing, you can come forward, you accept Jesus with all your heart, and the Lord who loves you will bring that love again. Clap hands for them. I'm happy, I'm happy, my brother. Come, Mali, who do you pray with them? Uh, come and pray with them. God bless you. Let's raise up our hands, close your eyes, pray this prayer after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I have heard your word. Father, I read your word. Today, today, I confess my sin. I confess my sin. I confess my sins. I confess my sins. I receive you. I receive you. As the Savior. As the Savior. And my Lord. And my Lord. Father, from today. Father, from today. I'm your child. I am your child. And you are my father. And you are my father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For the love. For the love that I'm receiving today. That I'm receiving for today. For the grace. For the grace. That I'm receiving today. That I'm receiving to today. To be your child. To be your child. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Praise you.